This is a garden update. May 17th, 2020. I got tired of, of walking on mud. I've been putting wood chips on my paths that go around all my raised beds. And it's starting to get pretty expensive doing that every year. So what I thought I would do this year is alleviate the need for wood chips. And I went and I bought pea gravel at the sand plant. This pea gravel is $18 a ton. This is $16 worth. And it did, oh, four of my paths that are two foot by, I think I got a total of 70 feet by two feet, two inches thick. So now I can come out here when it rains and not get my feet muddy anymore. So we'll see how that works out as far as weeds. I've got a weed burner, a small weed burner I can bring out here if I have problems with stuff starting to grow up through it. I did put landscape fabric like this that I, I actually purchased this at a nursery and they said it's what they use. But anyway, I just thought I'd update that. Onions are doing good. Of course not much to grow on onions give them nitrogen and water and that's about all you need to do and sun and these don't get enough full sun but close enough then we've got the garlic still growing good no scapes coming up they're not dying yet I'm thinking June July before they start to die back and I can harvest my garlic getting ready to plant little leaf pickling cucumbers they do not require or do you want them to get pollinated by bees so as soon as I get them put in the ground I'm going to be covering them up with an insect netting versus the shade cloth I usually use we'll see how the insect netting goes that's if it's big enough because I had to build me a new greenhouse frame and I built this one taller so I could get my cattle panel put in here for my cucumbers to trellis on. So I'm going to have to see once the netting gets here, I ordered it, it's, it's on its way, it should be here this coming up week. I'll have to see if it's long enough to go up and over both sides, 10 foot, it's iffy I might have to use row cover but anyway here's my peas it's going to be getting warmer this week upper 80s towards the end of the week we went crappie fishing today caught enough for a nice meal hopefully I have peas what I really wanted to show on this update was the broccoli This broccoli is doing really well. In fact, I'm getting ready to har harvest some of it. Now, if you're wondering how big these heads are, here's my hand, and that's the broccoli head. They're pretty nice size, and I'm going to have several of them. first year I grew this much looks like this one here the head might be start starting to loosen up I can't tell because quite frankly I, I, I haven't grown enough broccoli to know when to pick it yet this one for some reason has got yellow spots so I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one and I might pick this one that I think is loosening up I, I just I really don't know 
but I don't want to let it go too long to where it starts loosening up. The purple cabbage is all starting to form heads. I'm just going to have to see how it reacts to 80s, upper 70s. I might have to put shade cloth on this frame I made. We'll see. Oh, let's see. What else do we have? Tomato plants are doing fine. Nothing special there. I'm just, I'm cutting all the, all the flowers that come on them. I'm, I'm cutting them off. And the reason I'm cutting them off is because right now I want my plants to put all their energy into growing. And you'll see, you know, if they don't get damaged by storms or bugs or what have you, they're going to be growing out of the tops of these. I'm five foot ten, and this is eye level. Of course, the bed's a foot off the ground. But they'll be, I put extensions on these last year, and they probably grew seven, eight feet tall. But anyway, here, here in a little while, you notice I got them all mulched with prairie hay. And I even put it down in my paths because I, I just got tired of getting muddy feet. But this weekend, I'll get another load of gravel and take care of a few more of these. I've got Brussels sprouts in there. I don't really want to uncover it right now. I also have little gem lettuce. I guess I will go ahead and show you one of those. They're, they're really starting, to, the heads are starting to form. That's what it looks like when the head's starting to form. And let's see, there's a Brussels sprout plant. They're starting to form. Everything's mulched. I, I mulch everything. It really helps with watering. I'm going to be mulching my cucumbers. Well, actually, I don't mulch everything. I didn't mulch my peas. I just water them a lot. Here's some lettuce. The same lettuce that's... Oh, it's a couple weeks behind the ones that are forming heads now. So, looks like a good harvest this year. We're, we're going to have a good harvest. So anyway, that's my update. That's about all I got. If you have any questions about anything, just leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye.